Come on, girl, let's go for a ride. Oh, I ain't got time for that now. Here, let, let me lock up. All right, now, come on. Hey, Mr. Wilburn, this is Harold up the Rexall Pharmacy. I just wanted to remind you, you forgot to pick up your medications again, so uh, I got them here at the counter for you. Good girl. Here, let me get you a leash. Come on. That's a good girl. All right, come on, get up in there. Good girl. Here we go. We're gonna go for a ride. girl you just stay in the car now gotta get a little fresh air Her name is Mrs. Tupperworth? You gotta be kidding me. It's Cal founder. She's quite a character, too. She's president of the HOA. Her son's that builder I was talking about. Seems pretty aggressive. I'll have her give you a call. Wait, wait, no input? What? Henry, I usually like to interview a couple of builders before I give you a recommendation. We don't have much time here, Jeffrey. I've been sitting on this place for three years. The economy the way it is, we gotta get things moving now. Okay, so uh, if you're so set on this guy, why am I here? I've got three other projects right now in three other states. I need someone I can trust, someone who can handle the details for me. Who better than you? You're my guy. Someone to cross the T's, dot the I's, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. But I also need you to represent me at the HOA meetings. New builder has got to be approved by the residents. So this is going to be a problem? No. Mrs. Tupperworth assured me whatever direction we go, they'll follow. And she's sure about that? It doesn't really matter. The developer retains 25% of the vote. As long as it's close, we're all set. Okay, but is this builder reputable? Well, uh, <laughs> doesn't have any judgments against him. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey, look, you don't like the guy, you don't like what he does, throw him out. Find whoever you want. Okay, okay. If I have your word, you'll back me? I'm good to go. Absolutely. You wrap this thing up, and I might just be ready to sit down and talk about the details on the Hidden Oaks development. Big things in your future, Jeffrey. Big. Trust me. The old lemonade stand. Refreshment stand at. Lemonade stands are for little kids. Sorry. So you're gonna put it up again, huh? Of course, Dad. Duh. You need any help? Nope. I can handle it myself. All right. Just let me know if you need anything. Well, we saw you moving in. 
We thought you looked cute, so we decided to stop by. You came by because I'm cute? Actually, we came by to welcome you to the neighborhood. And because you're cute. I'm Zoe, this is Vanessa, and that's Lara. I'm Summer. So you live in the neighborhood? Vanessa and I do. Lara lives down there in the art district, but we all go to school here. Cool. You'll like it here. There's lots of fun stuff to do. Like what? Like lay out and go shopping. And lay out. <laughs> so you want to hang out with us tomorrow? Sorry, I'm opening up my refreshment stand tomorrow. You mean like work? I guess. <laughs> like yuck. <laughs> Hello. Danny Bollinger is standing outside of the Total Yogurt Shop right now. We have to go. See you later. Bye. So you're gonna be okay out here, right? Yes, Dad. All right, all right, all right. I'll be right inside. Okay? I'll be fine. Oh, cell phone. Got your cell phone? What's your name? Lanny. Lanny Peters. Well, I'm Summer. Summer Larson. What is this? A refreshment stand. It's really cool. Thanks. And the location's perfect. Number one rule in this business, Lanny. Location. You gotta have a great location. What's the second rule? Simple. Once you have a great location, Never move. Sure. No, that'll be fine. No. Yes. I'm expecting her any moment. She wanted to meet. Not exactly sure why, though. Okay. Bye. Jessica? How you doing? So, how did you get them to let you do this? Do what? Have this stand? I don't know. My dad said I could. He's in charge of the whole neighborhood now. Your dad's in charge of the whole neighborhood now? Wow. Who would care if I had a stand here anyway? Let's just say this neighborhood has a lot of rules. Yeah? Whose rules? Uh-oh. Ooh, my first customer. Hello, ma'am. What can I get you? We have lemonade, coffee, soda, and snacks. You have soda? Snacks? Yes, ma'am. As in food? You sell food from this stand? I certainly hope you have a permit. What is your name, young lady? It's Summer. Lanny, I was not talking to you. Her dad's in charge of the neighborhood now. Oh, so you're Jeff Larson's daughter. Yes. I was just on my way to meet with him. He's in his office. It's over there. His office? Really? Perhaps you can go and tell your father that I'm here to see him? So, Lanny, is your mother still working nights? Yes. So, she's sleeping now. And your father? He's on the road. He won't be back till next week. You poor little boy. It must be tough to have both parents working so hard just to get by. Can only imagine how lonely you must be. Summer's dad is in charge of the neighborhood now, not you. So she doesn't need a stupid permit. <laughs> Miss Tupperware lady. Evelyn, Tupperware? Yes. Jeff Larson, pleasure to meet you. Where did Lanny go? He just ran off. Odd little boy. So Summer says you have a, a concern about a permit for her lemonade stand? Refreshment stand, Dad. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, uh, about the permit. I may be wrong, but I believe an operation like this might require one. 
Ah, uh, well, you know what? We did check with the city earlier, and they don't require a permit. Uh, just tax revenue. Tax? Well, the HOA has very strict rules. And this is a major thoroughfare, so there are safety concerns. Surely you can't argue with that, Mr. Larson? No, by no means. I do not want to argue, and we want to follow the rules. As far as HOA, I did read the docs, and uh, I didn't see a conflict. No, 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 Mr. Larson. Sounds like you're starting to argue. Listen, Mrs. Tupper... Evelyn, may I call you Evelyn? Of course. It's, it's just Summer and me, and I like to have her close by. She's an industrious young woman, very proud of her. You know, she's operated this stand for what, the last, what? Two years. Yeah. Saving up for college. Prep school, Dad. So, certainly a, a woman in your leadership position can appreciate an entrepreneurial young woman like Summer who's just trying to reach her goals. I empathize with your situation, Mr. Larson, but rules are rules. I'm afraid I must insist that Miss Larson close down her stand or move to a more um, secure location. I'll tell you what, why don't we walk to my office and maybe we can find a solution for this. Maybe we can talk over whatever else we need to. How cool is that? Let's go. That is very cool. You know, uh, I used to ride. That's uh, Cole Harrison. Nice guy. Stopped by the other day. So. I'm familiar with Mr. Harrison. I think there should be permits for people, too. Summer Larson. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Jessica Riley. Are you okay? You look upset. Oh, no, um, I was just cleaning. Looks like it's gonna rain. Uh, we better get inside. Summer, dinner's ready. Time to come inside. Hold up, Dad. Let me get the door. Wait, be careful. Be careful. Must be Jeff's daughter. You're Mr. Harrison? No, call me Cole. This is Mr. Harrison. Where are you going? We've got to move my stand. Why? That's you had the best location up by the office. Somebody doesn't think so. Oh, uh, Tupperware strikes again. How do you know her name? Know it? I gave it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Can you walk? Yeah, not as well as I used to, but. Thank goodness I got my son to help me out here. So where's the new spot? Right over there. There? Wow. Well, there's not a lot of traffic down here, but, uh, you know, I'll come over and give you some business. Summer, I'm gonna call your dad. Let him know we're keeping an eye on y'all. He'll like that. Hey, you got any cookies over there? Dad, you can't eat that stuff. Come on, Lanny. We've gotta go. Bye, Mr. Uh, Cole and Mr. Harrison. See y'all later.
Danny, will you help me with this? such a freak. It's Lanny, and he's sweet. You know, you really shouldn't be seen hanging out with him. It's not good for your reputation. I don't even know if we'll be here long enough to develop a reputation, but thanks for the advice. So, can I get a lemonade? What? It sounds good. And besides, I think it's cool having your own business. Problem is, it's pretty lame out here. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, we're heading back to my house. If you want, come over later. It's the blue one. Yeah. As long as you're by yourself. Hello, and welcome. It is so good to see so many of our residents here tonight. Now, as most of you know, I am Mrs. Evelyn Tupperworth. I am the president of the HOA. Now, we have many topics to discuss tonight. And the first topic, which I'm sure is just in the forefront of most of your minds, is the new builder for our lovely neighborhood. In a few moments, I will introduce you to Mr. Jeff Larson, who works very closely with our developer, Mr. Knox, and he will update us on the progress that we have made toward bringing in a new builder, who, by the way, is very close to signing a deal with us. Uh, Mrs. Jones, you had a question? Who is this new builder? Well, why don't we let Mr. Larson address that matter? Any more questions? No? No? Well, then, without any further ado, Mr. Larson. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, I believe Mr. Harrison had a question. Thank you. Uh, the reason I did not entertain Mr. Harrington's question was that he's not an actual resident. Uh, in fact, I don't even know what he's doing in our neighborhood. Okay. First of all, it's Harrison, not Harrington. And secondly, I've lived in this neighborhood for over a year now, taking care of my dad, who's unable to take care of himself. You and I, we've spoken many times, and you know all this, so... <laughs> yes, be that as it may. Just because you live okay, here... Okay, okay. Please, your question, Mr. Harrison. It's actually more of a statement. I know I speak for some of us when I say that we just hope the new builder, whoever they are, upholds the original concept that the neighborhood was built on. Can you elaborate? Well, yeah. Walkways, parks, lights, benches. Originally, there were plans to build a playground for the kids in dog parks. Sorry. Sorry. But as I said earlier, you are not an actual homeowner. Therefore, you will not be allowed to vote. So why don't you just sit down and allow Mr. Larson to uh, advise us on the progress that we have made on acquiring a new builder. It is true. We have interviewed a builder who has submitted a proposal. However, I have also interviewed several builders who would also like to submit proposals. And I will let you know once I have made a decision. And then we all can vote. So, does anyone have any questions? So, how'd it go? How is Mrs. Tupperworth? She's a handful. Hey! hey! <laughs> Mrs. Riley! Who's that for? It's Miss. Is that for that dog? Miss? A golden retriever, I think. Ah, I see you two have met. I'm Jeff Larson, Summer's dad. I'm Jessica. I didn't see you at the HOA meeting. Oh, no, I, I didn't make it. I. I couldn't. You lived here long? She seems really nice. Yeah, well, um, why don't you put out some food and water for your friend then? Awesome. 
Nice meeting you. You too. More cups, Lanny. We just got here. Please just watch the stand, okay? dog I saw the other day. I want to keep her. <laughs> well, I don't see any tags on her, so she's all yours. <laughs> so, Summer. Yeah? Why did you start this stand? I'm saving up. For what? School. School? Really? I want to go to boarding school in London. England? It's high school. I've got a brochure at home I can show you. High school, that's four years. Are you sure you want to be gone that long? I just want to be in one place for four years. For a second, we watch the stand. And her. You mean Shadow? Because she follows you everywhere? Perfect. Hi, Dad. I'm looking for a red binder that was in a stack of boxes that I told you not to move. looking for my pictures and I couldn't find them anywhere. I was gonna put everything back, but... This is not our house, Summer. What, you know the drill. We can't just put up pictures and, and decorations because we move all the time. Look, I, I promise you, things will get back to normal. Guess that's not what Mom thought. What? Did she say that? Mm, no. Summer. I'm sorry. Look, I promise, after this project's over, things will be better. Is this the binder? Yeah. Thank you. So, I was wondering, Dad, if I could get a dog. What? A dog? Did you not just hear the conversation we had? How are we, how are you going to take care of a dog? I can do it. That's too much responsibility, plus we never stay anywhere very long. I've got to get to work, and you've got your lemonade stand. Here's 
her shadow has left you. What happened? I don't know. She just took off. Maybe we should call it a day. You want to close up shop? I'm not getting any business back here. Wow. It's pretty good. What is it? Summer's newest creation. The pink lemonade. Well, it's my new favorite. So where's your dog? She hasn't shown up today, and I'm kind of getting worried. Well, they say dogs have no concept of time, so maybe she's just late. But then again, we had a dog who would show up at the door every day at 6 o'clock because that's when my dad got home. So that doesn't really make sense. You're not helping, Lanny. Oh, hey, looks like you got another customer. Jessica! So, oh, this is the refreshment stand. What are you doing all the way back here? Two words. Mrs. Tupperware. <laughs> Sorry, it's an inside joke. I'm Cole Harrison. You guys haven't met? And I'm Lanny. Do you know anyone, Jessica? Apparently not. I live right there. Nice to meet you. She lives next door to me. Actually, you do look a little familiar. Maybe I've seen you at one of the HOA meetings? I don't think so. Why is that? Because I've never been. Ooh. Speaking of which, ugh, I was cornered by Mrs. Tupperworth as I was leaving my house. Look at this. An emergency HOE meeting tonight. Funny how I didn't get one of these. My dad never mentioned a meeting either. Yeah, well, uh, he's gonna want to be there, so uh, have him give me a call. Look, I'm sorry to run, but I gotta go check on my dad. It was really nice to meet you, Jessica. You got my to-go order? Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Oh, maybe I'll see you tonight? Well, I think I'm gonna go home, too. What? We're closing down the shop early again today? I want to tell my dad about this meeting. And besides, we're not making any money. This location sticks. Hold on a second. I came here to buy something. Good, because she's saving up for some fancy boarding school. OK, well, here. Then I'll take a lemonade. It's in England. Make that, too. Hey, babe. Run to a meeting. Everything okay? What? When? Tonight? Are you sure? Look, uh, I've got to go. Can you go to the house and get me a couple of things? Got it. Wait, you said the blue folder, right? Okay. Okay, Dad. Love you, too. You sure you want to close the shop early? The sun's starting to come out, and people are going to want their lemonade. Lanny, I've got to go help my dad. You stay here. I'll be back. doesn't mean Shadow's in it. She hasn't shown up today. We have to go there and get her. Summer, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of helping my dad. Dad, just wait, please. I gotta go. Dad, hold on. Lanny, stay at the stand. Jessica? Jessica? Hey, Jessica, it's Summer. I can't find Shadow anywhere. And I was wondering if you could help me. And I went to your house, but you weren't there. So if you could give me a call back when you can. Bye. Old neighborhood for 
I found old shadow trap between the Carter shed and the fence. Oh, I'm so worried. Thank you, Cole. I hope too. Yeah, he did. Thank you, Lanny. Good thing we found her before Miss Tupperware. <laughs> Don't worry, Shadow. I'll protect you. This is the influx of the economy coming out of your neighborhood, and this is the outflux going right back into it, so it contains a, a systematic growth of economic wealth. <laughs> Pardon me. Now, as you can all see by my illustration here, the residential development and the commercial development need each other. They go together hand in hand. By building more homes, it entices a retailer, which causes the sale of more homes. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Thank you. That was a wonderful presentation. Uh, I must apologize that we're in this room tonight, but evidently there is a dance at the school. <laughs> now, you all know how desperate we have been for a new builder. Well, fortunately, Johnson Homes has come to our rescue. <laughs> I know you're all excited. Our neighborhood will be saved. All we have to do is approve it when we vote. And we need everybody's vote. Okay? All right. That's it? That's all the details we get? Come on, is this a joke? I mean, what kind of commercial development are we talking about? One of them wonderful super centers. <laughs> oh, you mean the kind that not only draw tons of people over here, but also the crime and the traffic that come along with it? Now, don't think of it that way. Think of it this way. It will bring retail dollars plus lots of potential residents to your neighborhood. And are you Mr... My name's Billy Ray Johnson, but you can call me Billy Ray. Okay, Billy Ray. <laughs> Are you going to be able to ensure that the neighborhood and all the future phases retain the quality of the original plans? Now, that is complicated, and we haven't worked out the details yet. But we are working on I it. I think I got it. Oh, I'm sure you do. Now, if you have no further questions, let's move on. Actually, I have another question. Don't you think that this is a conflict of interest? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? Because I did a little research on Johnson Holmes here, Mrs. Tupperworth. I don't mean to be out of line, but uh, isn't Bubba here your son? Well, well, yes, but I don't see what that has to do with anything here. I, mean, I am not benefiting from any of this. I am simply trying to save our neighborhood. And you don't think there's a conflict of interest here? No, I don't. And I am quite offended by your implication. I have about had it up to here from someone who, number one, is not an actual homeowner here, and number two, comes to us directly from a rehab facility for drugs. Okay, Evelyn, that is out of line. I'm all through. Not that it's anyone's business, but for the record, I worked at a physical rehab facility, not a drug rehab facility. What's the difference? <laughs> Please, Johnson Homes has been approved as a potential home builder. Potential. There are a lot of other home builders who are in the process of submitting proposals. Have you received any of these proposals? No, none of them yet. Then I move that we accept Johnson Homes as our new builder. You can't do that. Why? Well, first of all, Johnson Homes has not been hired by the developer. And second of all, we have to notify the entire neighborhood before we can take a vote. Mr. Larson, I see no reason why the developer wouldn't accept the Johnson Homes proposal. After all, he is on the approved list. And he is supported by the majority of the homeowners. Oh, unless, of course, you want to wait for these supposed proposals from these so-called builders. She's right. We can't wait. We may lose this opportunity. I hate to admit it, but Ms. Tupperworth is right. Okay. All right. We will uh, reconvene in two weeks, and we'll take a vote. I'll send out notices to all the residences and information on Johnson Homes. Uh, if you have any questions, just contact me. There's nothing further, and we are finished. Meeting is adjourned. 
Really looking forward to working with you. We'll set up a meeting to go over all the details. That'll be interesting. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you didn't get a flyer for tonight. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how that happened. This is going to be so good for the neighborhood. We'll see. Ooh. I'm going to leave you with the stuffed toy so you don't get lonely, okay? <laughs> he was mine, but I don't need him anymore. <laughs> Can't believe the meeting has taken so long. I'm going to have to leave soon so we don't get caught. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Certainly nice of Jessica to offer to take you to work with her, set up your stand. I'm excited. The area near Main Street is really cool. Well, you be careful. Call me if you need me. Dad, I saw that dog, the Golden Retriever, again yesterday. Mm-hmm. She's really sweet. Do you think we could take her in? Summer, we've talked about this before. Please don't start. But I don't understand why. Yes, you do. Love you. She is so sweet. Oh, thank you. My dad doesn't know. Can this be our little secret? For now. So you ready to go? You know, I think there's going to be a change in plans. Up and say to him, get dressed to hear the good news. Sitting on the front pew. When the final prayer is spoken, I slide out the back door and head back home to my porch. Another lemonade Sunday. There's nothing quite like a lemonade Sunday. I've got the afternoon. There's nothing that I can do. But I don't really want to move. Okay, so this is going to be our little secret, right? For now. I've got you by the side. I'll be here till the sun goes down. Another lemonade Sunday, me and Miss Guitar. Rock it out my way, I'm pouring out my heart. Kicking back in my old t shirt, worn out blue jeans with a patch of dirt. There's nothing quite Somebody was a hero and saved a sweet doggy. Where is Shadow and her friends? Can't believe they closed early on the first day here. They already sold out. Really? Wow. <laughs> well, I was just running some errands for my dad and thought I'd come check out the new spot. So, uh, this is where you work? Yeah. That's cool. So close to home and all. Hey, um, can I ask you something? You're single, right? No kids? No. You going stir crazy yet? I know I am. I I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. You know, the neighborhood. All those perfect families and all those nosy old ladies. <sighs> sorry, but you know it's true. Anyway, I was just wondering why in the world you'd want to live there. You know, I don't think that's any of your business. Whoa, relax. Wow, are you wound up, girl? Excuse me? Look, I'm just saying you need to lighten up. Come on, Jessica. What do you do to let loose? I don't think I like where this conversation is going, and I don't appreciate the 20 questions. Look. 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. I was just trying to be friendly. I mean, so I didn't understand why, you know, I didn't get why you would... Yeah, you don't know anything about me, do you? So good today. We got a lot of money. Stay right where you are. Hey, Summer. Hey. So you remember my friend Lanny, right? This is Shadow. She is so cute. <laughs> so your parents aren't going to mind us working down here? They don't really care what I do. I do. Maybe we could open up a refreshment stand in London. recommend it, neither would the board, if it wasn't what's best for the neighborhood. Uh -huh. We only need a few votes, and you wouldn't want to be one of the only ones to prevent us from saving the neighborhood. Well, no, but I... Uh... Oh, well, you're a smart girl. You wouldn't want to see the value of your home go down. And besides, this may be our only chance. And you don't have a man to protect you anymore. Um, look, the, the kids are here. I need to take them home. So, um, I'll, I'll finish later. I'll I'm gonna go get my stuff. Whose dog is that? She's mine. Really? Yes. If she really is your dog, you'd better make sure that she has her tags and is registered with the city. Otherwise, animal control might come and take her away. say thanks for taking summer today. Hope it wasn't an inconvenience. Oh, no, not at all. Great. Uh, she also mentioned she might want to do it again, so I just wanted you to know that if she's ever bothered, just let me know and well, I'll make an excuse. I have no problem taking with me a few days a week. I mean, I, I felt bad that, you know, she had to move a refreshment stand all the way to the back of the neighborhood. And I'm just, you know, trying to help her with her plan. Plan? To go to boarding school in England? England? She told you that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's pretty exciting. I, I know, it's four years, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, she's an independent young woman. Yeah. I'm sorry, if, if I overstep my boundaries or... No, 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 it's just, uh, uh... Mrs. Larson doesn't want her to, you know... Oh, you're you're still married? No, no, divorced. I mean, we have a great relationship, it's just, uh... She didn't want Summer to move. And uh, Summer doesn't know that. So uh, if you wouldn't mind not saying anything. Uh, sure. Well, uh, I'll leave you to whatever you were doing. <laughs> yeah, um, eating ice cream and watching that show where they're trying to find Bigfoot. The one with the guy that looks like Bigfoot. Yeah. Huh. I know, it's ridiculous. I love that show. <laughs> you do. Yeah. You, yeah. you watch that show. I, I can't. I can't believe you watched that show. I am a bit of a goofball. So I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Thanks. So when are you leaving to go to your office? I'm not, huh? I'm waiting on the maintenance guy to come check the sprinkler. I think there might be a problem with the box in the garage. The garage? Yeah. Right 
Hey, Dad. Hey, there you are. So, what happened with the sprinkler guys? He'll be here in about 30 minutes. What do you think it's going to take? Five minutes less than the last time you asked? Why? Just asking. Hey, great. How are you? She is standing right here. I'll let you talk to her. It's your mom. Just take it inside. Hey, mom. Yeah, I miss you too. Hello, ma'am. You know who I am? I do. Where's your paperwork? I'm sure I can count on your vote. I'm sure. Animal control, I'd like to report a stray dog. Hey, Adam, how are you? I think we have a problem with the sprinkler system, so if you don't mind coming in there, it's just right up here. Everything okay? Yeah, I'll be right back. Huh. Okay, so if I move the control over here. you've been talking about. Yes! I don't know what to say, Summer. You don't tell me you're keeping a dog here. You're sneaking around. I tell you you can't have her. What else are you keeping from me? Shadow is a good dog. She deserves the home. That's not the point. I feel like I can't trust you anymore. She belonged to somebody else, and they left her. You want me to abandon her, too? I can't do that, Dad. We don't even know if the dog's safe. I'm sorry. I feel responsible for this. I told Summer that I would take Shadow to the vet to get her checked out. I just, I couldn't get in right away. Why don't I take Summer to animal control to get her? We for sure don't want her to be there. And then I can take her to the vet and, and that'll give us some time to sort everything out. Please let me. Okay. I won't keep anything from you again. But please think about Shadow. I'll think about it. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm looking for a female golden retriever. She got picked up just a little while ago. She's like 50 some pounds. Uh, she's really sweet. Really fluffy. Uh, yeah, no, I think I know exactly who you're talking about. Hang on one second, I'll find her for you. Yeah, hey, Ted? Yeah, do you remember that golden retriever we picked up earlier? You do? Great. Oh. Oh, you did? Oh. Okay, um, great, will you bring her up anyway? Thanks. She's okay, right? She's fine, um, but there was some confusion. They thought she was going to adoption, so they already started running some tests. Um, we won't charge you for that, but if you want your dog back, you will have to get her registered and get her a license. Here's the forms for that. So, between the license, the registration, the microchip, and the vaccinations, it's going to be $198. Okay. I'll pay you back. Oh, no, don't worry about it. But Shadow's my dog. I know. I'll put your and your father's information on the form, okay? Okay, let's see. I'll just hit that oh. right there. Yeah. 
This is your new home, Shadow. I know my dad's gonna let me keep you. Hey, you wanna play ball? You wanna play ball? Play that? Hey, go! <laughs> I just spoke to Animal Control. They say Shadow tested positive for heartworms. What does that mean? It means she's very sick, babe. How did this happen? Dogs get heartworms when they get bitten by an infected mosquito. So we'll just give her medicine? Yeah, but it's, it's not that simple. They say she's in advanced stages of it's just difficult. She may not make it. But it's not impossible. No. It takes months, baby. She has to be quiet. She can't exercise. You know how tough that is? I can't just give up on her. I just, I don't have the time or the ability right now. I just, I can't put this burden on you, sweetheart. So. Okay, I'll do it. Shadow can stay with me. I'll take care of her and oversee her treatment and you can help. Thank you. I don't know how I can repay you. You already have. Now, it's not gonna be easy. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes. I promise. I know you will. I'm proud of you, Summer. You never give up. So, how about some ice cream? Sure. You like strawberry? Yes. Okay, go. <laughs> so, Summer, where's your mom? She's in Haiti right now. She helps set up medical clinics and stuff. Oh, that's really neat. I bet she has a lot of stories. <laughs> you must miss her. Yeah, but I understand. I guess to spend more time with my dad. Except we move a lot. Yeah, that must be tough. He loves you a lot, you know that. I love him too. So, how come you're not married? If I had a nickel every single time someone asked me that... You could buy more lemonades at my stand? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be. I was engaged, and the wedding was set, but it never happened. But you want to get married. You want to have a family. For a while, I wasn't so sure, but yeah, I want a family, whatever that means. <laughs> Did you know? That when you get a dog, they start thinking of you as a pack. They don't care if you're a human or a dog. You're now part of the pack. That's really neat. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I know. <laughs> A West Virginia man recounts his horrifying encounter with the bipedal ape-like creature known as Bigfoot. I've seen him. It was a big old squash. I swear. Okay, you ready to get going? You gave Shadow the pill. Yes. Okay, good deal. Okay, Shadow, we gotta go in your crate now, okay? Come on, come on. Good girl. There you go. That's a good girl. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Now, don't worry. Dogs like their crates. They feel safe and secure in them, okay? Okay, Shadow. I'm going to have to leave you here today. 
Can you just rest? Good girl. Got a good girl. Okay. Here I go. Hey, babe. Hey. How are you? Good. What you got? I brought you lunch. Oh, I just ate. Well, good thing I also packed dessert in there. Oh, that is my favorite. Thank you. You look like you're in a good mood. I'm just happy. Shadow's going to get the care she needs. And Jessica said I can visit Shadow whenever I want to until she gets better. Look, uh, sweetheart, this uh, project that we're on... It, it's different than the others. Like how? Well, first of all, most everything was set in place before I got here. It's just not as much work to be done. Look, I've worked for Mr. Knox for a long time. That promotion he promised me, you know, it could happen pretty quickly. So, what does that mean? We could be moving sooner than I thought. Hey, bigger and better, Summer. So, when are we leaving? That I don't know. Look, bigger and better. Come on, I'll walk you out. Come on. Put a smile on that face. Why is Shadow out here? Oh, I'm having some people spray inside today. But don't worry, we'll just be gone a couple hours. Bye, Shadow. There's not a lot of room for her to move around in there. That's how it's supposed to be, Lanny. Okay. Bye, Shadow. We'll be back soon. I love you. Mwah. Good girl. Ready, guys? Yeah. We'll be back. See you later. Sorry, I was driving by and she saw me and got excited, so she thought I'd come back here and try to calm her down. Know that she's supposed to stay resting right now. Thank you. Yeah, well, Shadow's good, so uh, I guess I'll see you around. No, wait, Cole. I'm really sorry about the other day. I, I don't know what got into me. I shouldn't have pushed. You were just trying to be a friend. I just... I just avoided people for so long. Look, I'm gonna make spaghetti for Summer and Lanny. I, I just dropped them off at Lanny's house. They're coming right back over here. Why don't you join us for dinner? I mean, the, the kids are crazy about you. And it gives you a chance to get out of your dad's house for a couple hours. It would be nice to have some company. I'm gonna go check on my dad and I'll come back, okay? I can't believe she actually said that. I hate her. My dad says you should never use the word hate. You strongly dislike her. Well, then I strongly dislike her. Yeah, well, I hate her. <laughs> okay, guys, I've got cupcakes for dessert. <gasps> if you've left room. Of course. <laughs> so Shadow's doing okay? Treatment's going well? Yes. So far, so good. Right, Summer? Yes. Should we go check on her? You know what I like most about dogs? They live in the moment. No regret from the past. No fear of the future. If I had to guess, that sounds like you. Yeah, pretty much. I guess my life's always been an adventure. When I get bored with something, I just move on to the next thing. There's so many things I still want to do. It's just... Well, I don't know. No, what? You now you start to question things. Yeah, I do. Oh, shit, have I been a doctor or a lawyer or something? Is that what your dad wanted? No, no. Actually, he's the only one who ever accepted me for who I am. He never wanted to change me. 
Well, I agree with your dad. I think you're pretty amazing. What you two love birds talking about? Lanny. Dogs. And how awesome they are? They love you unconditionally. Yes, they do. Even if you move to London and become British. British? Yes, British. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. What happened? What's wrong? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Go. Cool. He's gonna be all right. I'm so sorry. Thanks. So unless there's any problems, we can break ground this week. What's the deal? We're going to shoot you straight. We want your vote. We need your vote. We know that the developer has 25% of the vote. And you vote for him. So the question is, what does the developer want? Any developer I ever dealt with just wants to get her done, if you know what I'm saying. I am well aware. And Mr. Knox wants nothing more than to have this community built out. And I can't argue with the outline that you've proposed. But I am concerned about the integrity of the neighborhood. What's in the best interest of the residents. And after reviewing your proposal more closely, I'm just not sure. Our proposal guarantees growth. It's as simple as that, and you know it. And everyone will adjust to the changes. Good job, Mama. I don't think I have ever seen her that peaceful in my life. So, um, you want some coffee or some tea? Coffee. That'd be great. Okay. It'll just be a minute. You know, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> it's just coffee. No, not the coffee. Summer. What you doing for? She's a really special girl. Yeah. Yeah, she is. I just feel bad for her. I feel like all we do is move and all I do is work. So how's everything going? Well, it was good. I mean, job is stressful, but everything's on track, so it's good. How are you? I'd really rather talk about you. Summer, is she driving you crazy? <sighs> She's got to be cramping your style. Yeah. I've had to cancel so many dates. You know, she tells me that um, you used to be engaged. Yeah. This is actually going to be our house. What happened? He left. Sorry. He just left. One day. Never heard from him again. Ever. I've never told anyone before. You know, I kind of got a confession to make, too. My, uh, relationship with my ex is not good. She decided she didn't want to be married anymore. Well, to me, at least. So, uh, I guess I never told anyone that either. You ever feel like you can just... Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that. No, no, it's just... It's, it's okay. I'm glad you did. I don't want to do that all night. Dad. Hey. I totally fell asleep. Yeah, I know. We were just having some coffee. Shadow's still asleep. I just left her on the bed. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take care of her later. Dad, I'm hungry. Okay, I'll take you to get something to eat. Well, 
I could just fix something. I mean, I'm sure you haven't eaten yet. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I agree with you. Yes, I believe so. Okay, we're all set. Bye. I'm going to Jessica's. Okay. Was that Miss Tupperworth? Yes, it was. What are you doing? Just going to the meeting to vote. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what's best for the neighborhood. I'm going to do what's best for us. I'm going to stay, Dad. Summer. I'm going to live here with Shadow. And I want to go to school here. You want to go to school here? Yes. High school? Yes. And I'm going to put my pictures up. Can we talk about this later after the meeting? I just, I've got to go. I can't believe my dad. How could he? He's going to vote Mrs. Tupperworth. Miss Tupperware's the enemy. I know. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. I think you're jumping to conclusions. You need to let your dad explain. You probably misunderstood it. I absolutely did not. Hey. Hey. So, how's your dad? Much better. Thank you for the flowers, by the way. That was really sweet. So what's the latest? Well, I just left, and uh, I guess we decided to put him in a skilled nursing facility. That way he can get the help he needs. I'm so sorry, Cole. Well, it's for the best, so. Are you going to stay here? For now. But, um, you know, eventually I'd like to ride my bike through Europe. Wow, that's cool. You can visit me when I'm in boarding school. Well, hold on now. i got to save up money first, OK? So I'll be in this neighborhood for a little while longer. Speaking of which, I heard Mrs. Tupperware and her gang are really putting pressure on Summer's dad. Yeah. Man, I hate bullies. Oh, sorry. I mean, strongly dislike bullies. Me too. Well, some people think that fear is the only way to get what they want. But I don't get it. What does Jeff have to be afraid of? Losing his job. As the treasurer of the HOA, I've counted all the votes. And it was double-checked by, by our neighborhood secretary, Mrs. Reynolds. Okay. Based on the number of votes, the HOA has... Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, wrong page. <laughs> Come on, would you read the votes already? I got it. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, based on the number of votes, only 30% approve of the new builder. That means 45% do not want Johnson Homes as the home builder. <laughs> oh, of course, of course, we need, we need to add the developers' votes given by Mr. Jeff Larson in the absence of Mr. Henry Knox. And his votes... Making up the remaining 25% is not in favor of the game. So did you see the look on her face? Oh, yeah, I saw it. She was so upset. That was the best part. <laughs> that was great. Oh, oh there he is. Yay. Time to celebrate. Definitely. Nice job. Uh, hey, seriously. Thank you. No. Thank you. So, what happened? Well, it looks like we're going to be staying for a while. 
<laughs> what a day. He realized what this means. This Tupperware has finally met her match. Miss Tupperware's fate has been sealed. <laughs> oh, that's me. I'll show them. What are you looking at? Make sure the gate was shut. Cole, take a landing. Come on, Come on Shadow! Shadow! Shadow, where are you? Shadow! Shadow! I don't understand what happened. No luck, huh? No. Man, we looked everywhere. Hey, Jessica. You found her? That's great. What? Oh, no. No, no, no. We'll meet you there. We'll, we'll meet you there. She found her, right? Yeah. Yeah, babe, she found her. Down by her office. Must have been looking for you. She's not looking real good. She's, uh, having trouble breathing. Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna go to the vet. We're gonna see her there. Come on. She didn't suffer a pulmonary embolism, and that's good. However, she did collapse due to overactivity. And what's worse is that one of the heartworms might have lodged in her lungs. We've taken x-rays, and we're waiting on lab work. We'll get her started on IV fluids. We're gonna keep her hospitalized and monitor her closely overnight tonight. We'll know more in about 24 hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Wait, what does that mean? She's gonna make it, isn't she? <laughs> we hope so. Twenty-two hours and thirteen minutes. Remember, they said it'd be twenty-four hours before they knew anything at all. My dad said he'd be back between five and six, and then we could go up there. Well, we won't miss him sitting up here. Shadow's gotta be all right. The other day, when I was riding in the ambulance, the paramedics told me that my dad didn't look too good. You know, at some point, there's an end for all of us. It doesn't matter if you're a person or a dog. And to be honest with you, I've been preparing for that day with my dad. But when I looked down at him laying on that stretcher, I just had a feeling that he was gonna be all right. I got that same feeling for Shadow. Really? Really. Told you. But wait, 
There's more. There is. She's pregnant. Shadow's gonna have puppies. Oh, <laughs> can you believe wow. it? Puppies, why not? Shadow's doing really well. You guys can take her home and continue to monitor her there. Oh, that's such good news. Just remember, she needs to stay on strict exercise restriction. But it won't be much longer till Shadow can join us at my refreshment stand. Mm-hmm. Your stand? Summer mini her. Partner. Junior. Partner. <laughs> okay, Shadow. Come on, let's go home. Come on, guys. Thank you, Doctor. You are. Hey, Summer. Hey. What's up? Your shadow. She's at home resting. How's your dad? He's doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. So, you'll be leaving soon? When the time's right. Well, I have something for you. What's this? Open it. I can't accept this. It's non-refundable. And it's in your name. This was expensive. Summer, how did you... Is this your refreshment stand money? I want you to ride your bike through Europe. You deserve it. What about you? I don't need to go anymore. Besides, I have a dog here to take care of now. I met with, uh, Mr. Knox, babe. Did you get the promotion? No, exactly. I got fired. Fired? I guess we'll be leaving after all. But I want to stay. I do, too. I have an idea.
Walking in the kitchen I see you dancing on the floor I smell the meal that you've been fixing And I don't worry anymore And every night we feel like glasses And when the light will pour some more I like the sugar like sweet molasses The taste that we've been working for Laughing in the kitchen 